pulmonary stenosis, right ventricular hypertrophy, overriding aorta, and a VSD. Now let's go into rapid fire of genetic heart conditions and the different lesions that they are going to uh, cause. So for each of the following patient descriptions, let's name the heart lesion. Neonate with seizure secondary to hypocalcemia. He has recurrent fungal infections. A genetic etiology is suspected as the echo is abnormal. What are we thinking of here? DeGeorge syndrome. Why? Because DeGeorge syndrome is going to ha be hypo hypocalcemia. Why is it going to be hypocalcemia? Because of your parathyroid glands that are failing. Okay? So in DeGeorge syndrome, what's going to be the heart lesion? Tetralogy of Fallot. A male with loss of sensory ability with characteristic spastic gait and genetic studies show a frataxin abnormality. I kind of just gave it away to you, but what's the heart lesion here? That's going to be hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and that's related to Friedrich's ataxia. A patient with long fingers who presents with head bobbing and vitals showing increased pulse pressures. He has diastolic murmur on exam. So long fingers, what are we talking about? We're talking about that Marfan's patient. And Marfan's patient can get not only aortic aneurysms, but they can get cystic medial necrosis of the aorta. And that cystic medial necrosis of the aorta is going to cause you to have aortic regurgitation. A patient who presents with hypopigmented macules and leathery patches of skin, a mass is noted in the atria. So hypopigmented macules is going to be related to what? That's going to be related to tuberous sclerosis, okay? And tuberous sclerosis is going to cause you to have these ash leaf spots and also the shagreen patches, which are described as the leathery patches of skin. And the mass, the heart lesion that's related to tuberous sclerosis, that's going to be the cardiac rhabdomyoma. That's going to be the primary heart onco oncological lesion for tuberous sclerosis. And so what's the renal lesion in tuberous sclerosis? Yeah, exactly. It's three things. Tuberous sclerosis, three things for the renal thing. Renal, angio, blood vessel, myo, muscle, lipoma, fat. Renal, angio, myo, lipoma. 18-year-old presents to the OBGYN for primary amenorrhea. Oh my gosh, she's 18 and she hasn't had her period. She is noted to have increased blood pressure in the upper extremities, decreased pulses in the lower extremities. Increase, decrease, increase, decrease. What are we thinking about? Turner syndrome. And Turner syndrome in particular is related to coarctation of the aorta, coarctation of the aorta. Okay, so the x-ray finding is going to be this rib notching secondary to the intercostal arteries that get really engorged because of the coart. A pediatric patient is presented to the cardiology clinic for evaluation. Echo shows a primum ASD and regurgitation of the AV valves bilaterally. Regurgitation of the AV valves bilaterally. What genetic abnormality may this be related to? Trisomy 21, remember, we talked about this. This is going to be the AV canal defect, atrioventricular canal defect. Okay, so what's the most common ASD in the general population? Secudum, where Down syndrome have ostium primum. And what is the physical exam description of ASD? Repetition drives learning, fixed split S2. And the difference between an ASD and PFO, ASD is a failure of the tissue to form, whereas PFO is a failure of the foramen ovale to close.